So you're interested in non-standard construction properties and whether they're actually worth purchasing as a buy-to-let investment property. No problem, let's go. My name's Dan, welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you're interested in learning about all things UK buy-to-let property related, make sure you start now by subscribing and clicking the bell to ensure that you don't miss a thing. So in order for a property to conform as a standard definition, the walls of the property will be constructed with stone or brick, and the roof of the property will be constructed with tile or slate. And if a property doesn't match that criteria, then it's classed as a non-standard construction property. Unusual construction properties refer to the build type or material used to build those properties. For example, timber or steel framed. Let's have a look at some of the building profiles that fit into the non-standard construction category. Properties with thatched roofs, and that's because those thatched roofs are more expensive to repair, and also there's obviously the added risk of fire as well. Properties with flat roofs, and flat roofs tend to attract more weather damage, but also make it easier for thieves to gain access to a property. Listed buildings, and these are expensive to repair because of the need to use traditional materials and methods, and any prefabricated concrete houses. You may also encounter difficulty when trying to purchase a non-standard construction property. Mortgage lenders and insurance companies really cast a suspicious eye over this type of property and really don't favour them as an investment property. And there's a couple of main reasons for this. The first one is the demand for these properties and then being unfavourable or unattractive to most buyers. Mortgage lenders have to of course look after themselves and what they'll be assessing is if they have to repossess this property, how does that look like for them selling it in the future? Will they be able to make that money back? The second reason being around the maintenance of the property. Obviously it's going to be more expensive to maintain a non-standard construction property and due to that increased cost of the property both mortgage lenders and insurers believe that there's a more likely chance that maintenance won't be carried out and the property won't be looked after in the best way possible meaning that the value of that property will decrease over time. My advice for anybody new to buy to let would be to steer clear of anything that's non-standard construction just until you get some experience behind you belt. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.